welcome to aminacademy.com in strength of materials let us discuss about types of stresses the stress may be normal stress or shear stress here stress can be broadly classified as here normal stress and here shear stress the normal stress is further divided into tensile and compressive stress here this is tensile and one more is compressive stress now we'll uh, discuss now tensile stress the stress induced in a body when subjected to two equal and opposite poles suppose consider this figure a load of pull that is uh, suppose it's a p newton is applied on this material now we can say as here p equal pull that is a pulling force acting on the body a is cross sectional area of the material l is original length dl change in length sigma is increase stress induced in the body stress induced in the body e equal strain in this in the body that is is called a tensile strain here now consider the figure so your bar subjected to a tensile force p at its ends consider the section xx suppose here the consider this section of that body in xx section which divides the bar into two parts the part left to the section xx will be in equilibrium that is p equal to resisting force r this is shown in the figure here this is the left side of the body is b in equilibrium of the force p here this is the this area having resisting force this is a resisting force now consider the right side part of the body which is in equilibrium under the condition of the load p here and resisting force acting this way resisting force r now consider the complete body in equilibrium like here the force p here force p this section xx force is considered like acting resisting force is acting like now we can say tensile stress equal resisting force
that is R over cross sectional area A. Now that is resisting force is equal to here tensile load. Tensile load P over cross sectional area A. Therefore, sigma is equal force by area. Now, due to that uh, strain is created, stenzel strain, therefore, stenzel strain equal increase in length. length by original length which is equal delta L by L. Now next we will do compressive stress. Here the stress induced in your body when subjected to two equal and opposite pushes. here consider this figure if force of pushing is in uh, here here force of pushing P here both side consider this section XX here consider that part of the body in left side is here the resisting force is acting like resisting force now consider the right side of the body resisting force is here and P is this side. Now finally it is like resisting force is acting here. then pushing force is here. Now we can express compressive stress equal resisting force by area area A that is which is equal pushing force P over A now due to that strain compressive strain can be expressed decrease in length by original length this is equal delta L by L now next we will discuss about shear stress your stress is induced in your body when subjected to two equal and opposite forces which are acting tangentially across the resisting section. 
here look at this figure consider a rectangular block of height h length l with this unit width let the bottom face a b is here of the block be fixed this bottom is fixed to the surface shown in the figure let a force p is applied tangentially along the top of the side dc side dc tangential force that is p is applied tangentially to the block such the force acting tangentially along the surface is known as shear force for the equilibrium of the block the force ab will offer a tangential reaction p equal and opposite to the applied tangential force p here this tangential force p is here this uh, resisting force acting here in the section tangential force is up resisting force is down here here the far uh, right side part of the figure resistance force is here and tangential force is here consider the section xx this is uh, consider section xx parallel to the plate force which divides the block into two parts the upper part will be in the equilibrium if p is equal to resistance r therefore shear stress you can express equal shear resistance shear resistance over by area shear area suppose it is equal to r by a therefore you can say the eta stress equal p over shear area is length into unit width 1 here shear stress is tangential to the area over which it acts now here consider this black as the bottom of the face of the block is fixed the face here a b is fixed here here the due to tangential force here the face a b c d will be denoted now here d dash it moves d moves a d dash position and c moves c dash through the angle phi now and shear we can say shear strain now shear strain can be expressed as a phi which is equal transversal displacement transversal displacement over distance ad your distance ad that will be this h here now therefore phi is expressed as d d dash the length d d, d dash over ad which is equal delta l by h here this uh, length is delta l 
that is DL you can say. Therefore, shear strain phi equal delta L over H. There is no unit for shear strain also. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.